we are looking at the grade 11 november rt prac exam from uh, the eastern cape in 2018 and we're dealing with the database question question two and we, this is the second part of question two so just a reminder of what we're dealing with we're dealing with a table called tbl tables it's got an R, a table id which is an auto number then a waiter id a table guests and table amount paid so that's the id of the waiter that helped the table um, that's the number of guests at the table and then the amount of that table for that night i assume or for that particular table so that's the what we're dealing with we've done 2.1 and 2.2 .2. let's go to 2.3 Okay, so the manager will like to check how many tables each waiter served. Um, so we're going to have an input box that's going to request a waiter ID, which will be some sort of number. Um, and then we need to display the waiter ID followed by a list of all the tables that they dealt with and then how many tables they dealt with. Okay, so we're not totally in that. We're just counting every time we see a waiter ID of a two. It's find it the display the table ID, the list of all the table numbers. So I'm assuming that that's table ID and not the table guests, because I'm not seeing many 52 as a guest. So I'm assuming that we could display the table ID of the ones that number two dealt with. And then, uh, so if, for example, if we selected number 12, then a 31 would appear and a 46 and a 50 and so on. Um, and then we would, say how many there are so let's just get the first part right of displaying that so we are going through each and every record in the table so we're doing that those three things you'd remember dot first while not end of file dot next so let's go to our program and do that so total number of tables let's first of all get our table id our, or waiter id so we want a waiter id which is a number so i'm going to say waiter id of type integer and we need to get that from the user via some sort of uh, input box. Input box. So remember, it's always input box must return something into a variable. And we're going to say waiter rd as our heading. Please enter a waiter rd. And I'm just going to put a 2 as the default so that we can test it. Now, this is going to return the two into wait ID unless I change it when it pops up but that's going to be to the string I want to change it to to the integer because we want to deal with it as an integer because in our database the wait ID is an integer and we can't compare strings and integers so I'm going to convert this input box from what it is what is it returning it's returning a string we want to convert it to an integer so that it can fit into our waiter ID integer okay so there's our input done now remember I said we're going through each and every record in the database. So it's always that TBL tables dot first. Then while not TBL tables dot end of file do. While we're not at the end of the file, then we're going to have a begin and end. Always have a begin and end. End of the while. And at the end of that, well, just before the end, we're going to say TBL tables dot next. So whatever happens here, is what must happen for the first record and we believe that it'll happen for all the records because of these three things okay so what do we want to do we want to if we look at we want to go through, we want to check if the first record we want to display the table id that one but we only want to display it if that waiter id matches the one that we just inputted so if it's not input, then we don't do nothing. Then we move to the next one. But if it is the same, like that one, we must display the seven that goes there. So we first, we're not just displaying the table ID. We first want to check if the waiter ID field, how do I get that field? Remember TBL tables, square bracket, and the way it is spelt, not table, the waiter ID, it must be exactly like it is in the database. Waiter ID, that's correct. If that is the same as the ID that we were given as input, if those two are the same, then we have a match. It matches. Put a begin end. I'll explain now why we have a begin end. End or if. If it's true, we have found a match. That means we have found the waiter ID that matches the two that we found. Now we must display the table ID in the rich edit. Rich edit output 
dot lines dot add what are we adding we add in that field the table id field so it's tbl table square bracket table id but remember that is a uh, some sort of auto number it's a number and rich edits need string so we're going to convert it from an int to a string so that's what it's going to do but before i do that let's just have a look do you see how it displays it it first has the waiter id with the name the number and then a space and then all of them so let's just do this heading part first we can do it right at the top here so we get the id so let's just put the headings in that's what i'm doing here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna first clear that rich edit clear it get rid of whatever's in there then i'm gonna say add a line that's going to say the words waiter id colon colon then a space put a space then i'm going to add whatever this waiter id field is that we're looking for but if you remember that is a integer we must convert from an integer to a string so that's you see this is outside the loop because we're not doing it every single time we're just doing it once sorry but yeah you're just doing it once and then a blank line how do we do a blank line well let's put rich edit dot lines dot add let's just add a blank line once it's done that then we can loop through all of them and, and show all the ID, table ids of the ones that be selected let's hope it works please let it work please let it work please work so if i go and table id we want number two do those look like the same ones? Do they look like the same ones? Not that one. We want that one. Well, does that look like the same? 7, 16, 21. Ah, there we go. We got all of them. They're correct. Then we need to say how many there are in total. So we need to, every time we find one, a match, we must count it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a count variable. You can call it count or, or Dracula. Count Dracula. And whenever you're counting something, you must set your count variable to a zero. You initialize it. And whenever we find a matching ID, not only are we displaying it, but we are increasing the count variable. Do you understand now why we have our begin and end? Because when we find a match, we're not only doing one thing, we're doing two things. That's why I've got a begin and end. And then at the end, we must display it like they want it, which means a blank line. So we want a blank line, just like that. This is after the loop, blank line. Then we want to display total number of tables, total number of tables. Oh, do we have to make that a capital? I don't know. Let's do it. Do it. Space plus the count variable, the count Dracula variable. I mean, our count variable, which is an integer. And remember, our rich edit needs strings. So we're going to convert it from a int to a string. And it should say the number six. Hopefully, please, let it be six. Hopefully it counts correctly. So if I say total number and we want number two, it's six. But if we said number 12, it would say there are three. Now let's just do the sort but by weight ID. And we can actually go down to number 12, all the way to number 12. There we go, two, one, five. What? No, not, not the table guess there. Let's look. 46, there's 46, there's number 50, there's number 31, they're all there, boom, boom. Total number table three, there we go, so it works, fantastic. I think we've got time just to do the last bit, it's very quick and easy, let's go. It's an insert, it's five marks. A new group of five people have been seated at a table, that's the ID of the table. Um, the waiter's waiter ID was being allocated to serve them is number 10 and the information Okay, it's a group of five. Okay, show a message that the record has been added. The total amount paid does not have any information assigned to it. So there's nothing assigned to that. So we're just inserting a record. There's just three things we're inserting. We're inserting five guests for table ID 71, which I think is going to be difficult because that's an auto number. I don't think we can actually put in the auto number. Um, and then the table... Um, the waiter ID is number 10. So let's see if we can. So let's go to the insert button. And it's the way we insert is we first got to put the, put the table, put the table into insert mode. 
then we've got to assign values to each and every record that we want so or each and every field sorry so for example we want the number okay now this is the, th the part that's confusing me because table id is an auto number it automatically generates so i'm going to try it by putting in the table id 71 let's see what that does so i'm going to say table id just like it is in the database is equal to 71 and then the waiter id is a 10 so waiter id so tbl tables square bracket waiter id is going to be the value 10 and then the group of five people so table guests tables table guests let's make sure we spell it correctly it's table guest plural that's all right that's going to equal to five now remember your fields must be matching type so numbers will be just like that if it was any strings you would have quotes around it if it was any dates you would have hashes around it um, normally again so just remember those type of that type of information so those are three things we're going to put in we're not putting any value in the table amount paint so we don't have to put anything and then we must put it into the post mode so we post the results so it's always insert change your your fields and then post it let's see if that works i'm just concerned about that auto number i'm not sure if it's going to work let's have a look let's run it i'm going to go insert and cannot be modified table id that's what i thought i thought we can't modify that field because that field is an auto number so let's just put it out and let's try it this way and insert and if we go to the bottom you see it added number 71 automatically because that was the next record and i put in the 10 put in the 5 put nothing for the table right that's fantastic it's a little confusing because i looked at the memo and the memo actually made the, did actually do this and it said to, to 26 for some reason i don't know where it got that from but just be careful sometimes the memo can be wrong um so yeah and i think there was a key thing here that we missed out show a message that the record has been added so don't forget that little piece of information so we must have a show message uh, record added now if i run this again it's going to add another record probably at number 72 um for this but that's fine i don't i'm not worried about that so at the moment you'll see there is a 71 with nothing there i'm going to insert boom record added and this time it was added to 72 that's because it's the next number in the database okay so there we go there i think the marks are that's five marks boom that is question two done for more videos from this question paper as well as other stuff relating to delphi go to our youtube channel subscribe like us on facebook follow us on twitter and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way